Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, hopefully you had a great uh, winter break. Uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, give you a glimpse um, to this website called Edpuzzle. I love it. Um, it's going to be the first video of a video series that will take you through all the steps you need to know to um, be really proficient with the website. Um, it has a lot of great options. Um, I love it for videos. Um, now I'm doing audio books with it. And so if you're interested in um, input and um, the kids being able to process it, that that input um, and have reflection moments um, with questions embedded within those videos, um, Edpuzzle is a great site. Um, I really love it and I hope this helps. And like I said, this will be a video series. So um, the first video uh, of today is just how to get started, where to go, how to log in. Um, and how to create a class, okay? So I uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, see you next time. All right, guys, so here's the website I was talking about. So it's Edpuzzle. Um, so if you go to Google, type in Edpuzzle, um, it'll be the first link on your search. Uh, once you click on that link, it will take you to this website. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna hit sign up. And remember, um, you're a teacher, so you wanna make sure you hit teacher. Um, and um, it might ask you for a tour. You can go through that tour if you like, or just hit skip. And then once you have this, uh, make sure it has teacher here. Um, since we are a Google district, um, just sign in with your Google account or any Gmail account that you want. Um, and once you do that, it will ask you for um, to choose an account. Uh, if it doesn't, you just add the account that you want. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose um, the account that I have. And then um, this is what the interface looks like. Um, there's three tabs that you need to uh, be really concerned about. It's the search tab, my content tab, and my classes tab. Okay, so those are the three tabs that you're looking for. Now to get started, okay, and this is your uh, ho your homework, um, is to log on, create an account, and then add a class, okay? So try just starting by adding a class. So um, how do you add a class? There's two ways to add a class. You can add a class by just simply um, clicking the add class and then typing the class that you have. So maybe it's your uh, period one class, or maybe it's your human anatomy class, um, or maybe it's your, your, you know, your world civ class, whatever it is, once you do that, okay, you hit the check mark and boom, you act, you've created a class. Now you don't have any students, any members in this class. So what you would do is you would invite your students. Um, and so by clicking the invite your students, you're gonna get a, um, code here that you can share with your students and so then you would instruct them to go to edpuzzle.com sign up as students and then when they get to that um, to this uh, a similar website it's gonna say add a class and or join a class and then this is the code that they're gonna have to uh, type in to join your class now that's one way but Let's say you have Google Classroom. If you have Google Classroom, you can add a class via Google Classroom. Um, when you click import from Google Classroom, it's gonna give you um, the classes that are linked to your um, Gmail account. So that's why I chose my school account because that's the school account that I have the other Google Classroom registered through. And notice I have four Google Classrooms active. You would click on the classrooms that you wanna import and then go ahead and simply click import. I'm not doing that at this point because I've already imported. Okay, once you do that, those class will sell those classes will self-populate and show here on this left side um, of the of the menu. When you click on the classes, you will um, if you click on members, you will see that all the members are now here in your class, right? And so now you're ready to share videos at that point, okay? So like I said, um, go ahead and sign up for Edpuzzle, create a class either through adding a class, importing a class. If you add a class, you know, try to get some students um, onto the class and then that way the next video on how to share videos, um, you would be ready for. So hope this helps and um, see you next time.